adventure and today we're going to talk about how do we stay on track in our garden and getting stuff done in our garden and we also have a mail call because I know I haven't done a mail call in a long long time I've been receiving mail but I've just been so busy because it seems like I don't know if this has happened to you guys but when fall season comes and it's one of my favorite favorite seasons I have so much that I want to get accomplished in that amount of time that I just get so bogged down with trying to do so much at one time that I get myself off track. Mm-hmm. I get myself off track. And the first thing we're going to talk about is how do you guys stay on track? I'm going to tell me, um, you guys how... Um, I stay on track and what works for me and then I want you guys down in the comments to let me know what you do what strategies you may use in order to keep yourself on track um, in your garden or just in general well I know like I said before when fall comes I have to have to be organized because if I'm not organized, then, like I said, I will go off the rails like I did. And then I look back and I'm like, oh my goodness, I got so much stuff I need to do. And how I'm going to get it done before my window of opportunity for starting seeds, getting them planted out in the garden, or getting my garden beds ready. I got to do all that weeding. And it's just so much to get done. Plus, you got to think about the weather. Here in Virginia, Zone 7B, it's been raining, 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 which I'm not complaining about the rain, but when it rains, that sets you back as well because then you got to think about, oh, everything's out there's wet in my yard. It's on a slope, so I got to slush around in the doggone puddles. You know, I got the weeds or the... The, my little grow bags that I have out there that I have taken out of my garden beds. You know, I started to um, take them apart. So that's a soggy mess because, you know, grow bags, they're very porous. So any kind of liquid or water that gets into them, they drain out quickly. And so, like I said, my yard is a little off-centered. So I always have a bunch of puddles. So I have this mandatory for me to wear my gardening boots out there in my yard after a rain because it's like walking in a swamp. Yep, I said it. Renee's Garden Adventure over here has swamp land when it gets all this torrential rain that we get over here in Virginia. And I know you guys are getting rain too because you guys have been getting hit by a lot of those um, rainstorms as well. So... But you know what? As gardeners, we cannot give up. We got to put on our boots, even if we need a rain jacket, our hats, gloves, whatever. We got to strap up and we got to get out there and get the job done. So the first thing that I do in order to keep me organized is I need some kind of a pad or something that I can write stuff down. And this is what I have jobs in the garden to get done. I have to clean up that squash plant. You know that patty pan squash that I have out there and that butternut squash and that mystery squash? It's done. I've harvested whatever I'm going to harvest off of that plant, so I've got to pull that up for sure. And then i got to pull out the old tomato plant. You see that I just recently amended all those black planter boxes that I have on my deck, but I have like three little straggler tomato plants that I'm trying to give them some love so maybe I can get a few more tomatoes off of them. But if I don't see any improvement, then those jokers are coming out because that is prime residence for some more of my brassicas to go in that spot. Because on my grow table, you guys see my grow table? I have a lot of my broccoli and my Brussels sprouts that need to be put in their home for the fall. And then it says to clean out those uh, black planter boxes, which I'm talking about now. I've cleaned out two of them, and I've already planted my, my broccoli and my Brussels sprouts in those two. And then, like I said, I just have that one tomato planter that I've got to do something with. And then it says I have to clean out the red garden boxes to put my cabbage in. 
Well, you know, I've been starting my starts inside the house, my cabbage, and um, I have my winter choy that needs to get out into the garden. So it's, I have to get rid of that squash plant and I have to get those um, in the red garden. I have got to get those beds cleaned out, amended, and ready for them to be planted up. See what I'm saying? If I don't have this little pad right here, boy, you would see Miss Renee roaming around that garden just aimlessly going, where am I going to put stuff? Because I'm a visual type of gardener and I need to have everything like written down. Even sometime I'll map out where my stuff is going to go in my garden. So it's imperative that I stay focused and stay on task. And then I need to bring out my starch from the inside house to get them planted which I made a video and you guys see me plant out some of those cabbage plants and stuff already. But I still have two more flats of cabbage and winter choy and upstairs and upstairs um, seed starting stations. So I still have like maybe 25 more plants that I have to get out. Mm -hmm. See, I got to get to rolling. I'm behind schedule. And then I have to clean up the white garden, black and white garden, so I can prepare that. And those are the where I've been um, harvesting all those beautiful peppers that I've been um, showing you guys. And also bringing them in the in-house. And I've been dehydrating them. I've been making, um, cutting them up, put them in the freezer. So when I need some kind of peppers, bell peppers, I will already have them diced, chopped, frozen, and ready to go. See? That's why I think this is out of all the things that I've successfully grown this season. I think my peppers are the best plants that I've had this season. Not as much as my bell peppers. Now, a couple of seasons ago, you know I had a good bell pepper harvest. But this year, it's the bell peppers. It's my jalapeno peppers. It's my shishito peppers. It's my cayenne slim um, peppers that I use for my red pepper flakes. It's just mm -hmm. awesome. I'm so, so elated. I'm so, so proud that I was able to get a good harvest. Because you guys know as gardeners, some things do better than others. Like I said, last time I had a nice pep uh, bell pepper harvest. This season was not the case. Corn, I was able to get one corn because the raccoon took the rest of my corn. So I know next season I'm going to plant some corn and I'm going to put some kind of chicken wire or something around them so the um, raccoons won't be able to just take all my corn because that corn was beautiful. It was the um, like that light lavender corn. Child, I saw that color and I was so happy that I was able to at least get one. So I think that's a success for me because I was able to try at least one of them ears of corn. And the last and final thing that I do in order for me to get all my things ready and keep me organized in the garden is I have all my seeds that I'm going to be rolling out. Because as you guys know, me, um, Q, and Diana, we are trying to do this onion. Because Diana's onion harvest was amazing. So she started her onions like in October. So I am trying to start mine a little bit earlier so I can get a real established root system. But I'm still going to um, direct sow some onion seeds into the soil and see how that does. So I got two experiments going. I've only been able to do the onions that I've grown by seed. Um, and they're already out there in the red garden but I haven't direct sowed the seeds for the onions yet. I need to get those beds clean so I can make a space for that so I can get those in and then I'm gonna overwinter that the onions and see how I fare through the winter. I'm gonna cover them up with like some mulch or something to try to protect them from our extreme cold winters that we have here in Virginia. And fingers crossed that my onions will do fantastic. Because that's my number one mission this season is to grow lots and lots of onions. Mm -hmm. So don't forget, those are just some tips that I use. And if they're helpful for you, 
then use them, child. Use those tips because I can't wait to hear what your guys' tips are going to be like because I may be able to use some of your tips. I'm telling you, as gardeners, we have got to help each other so we'll know how to grow this food that we desperately need because, you know, I'm an advocate for trying to grow as much as we can in our garden to help us um, stay out of the grocery mm -hmm. store and at least cut our grocery bill down. So, with that being said, now let's move on to the mail call. All right, you guys, let's get this mail call rolling. All right, you guys, it's mail call time. It's mail call, it's mail call. Look what I got in the mail today. It's mail call, it's mail call. I'm so happy today. Well, you guys, I received some mail from my good old buddy, Allie. Now, Allie is, I call her an experienced gardener. Because if you, when we get done talking about what Allie sent me, I want you guys to go over to her channel. And it's called My Rusty Garden. And her name is Allie, A-L-I. I want you to go over there, check out her garden, tell her that Renee from Renee's Garden Ventures sent you because Allie has amazing garden. She has so much going on in that garden that every time I watch Allie, I'm just like this. And she's always doing the raptor thing. She's like me. She does this to get rid of the spider webs as me. You see me with my rake or my shovel moving around in front of my face because it's true. When you guys are out in the garden, you always run into some type of spider web. Put your hand up because I know you guys run into spider webs just like mm -hmm. I do. And Allie does it. She goes, I'm raptoring. It is so cute. But she has anything. She has those veggie pods, which I love. I am on the lookout to get one of those veggie pods. You know, it's like a big, huge raised garden bed that's up on legs. And then it has this netting, um, like, covering that you can just open and close. It's amazing. She said that she found some on um, Facebook Marketplace. So I've been stalking that Marketplace trying to see if I can find one. But I haven't been able to find one. So if you guys know of a um, place where I can find one of those veggie pods at a reasonable price. Now, you know your girl not made out of money. And you know I'm always over here repurposing or reusing stuff. So I would appreciate it if you guys put your feelers out and see if you guys can find Miss Renee a veggie pod that has a closure. It's a top that comes down and it's all um, netting on it. And it also has a self-watering. Uh, mechanism inside of it, which I think is so cool. It's like a little sprinkler that just wa that is waters everything that's in that raised bed. So with that being said, she has flowers, she has tomatoes, she has uh, zephyr squash, she has um, um, sedum um, flowers growing over there. She has a greenhouse. I'm telling you, Allie got it going on over there. So make sure you guys go and check out my girl, Allie, from My Rusty Garden. She's a hoot. She is like all over the place. So let's see what Allie sent me. I told her, I was, was looking, remember when I was asking for anybody that has any of the little Savoy um, cabbage seeds? Because I want to grow some of those um, cabbage so I can have some of that for um, in my garden. Because my husband loves cabbage cow. So, oh, Allie did. She sent me some of uh, Savoy cabbage. Thanks, Allie. Yay! I got my Savoy cabbage. I'm telling you, our garden community are filled with some wonderful, wonderful people. And when you put the call out, for anything that you need, trust and believe somebody out there will answer the call and they will send it to you. 
Thanks, Sally. I am going to drop these seeds as soon as I can because um, um, how long do these take to germinate? I'll check this out because you know your girl need her glasses. Hold on. Here's my glasses. You know Miss Renee can't see anything without her glasses on. So it says it takes some... Um, it needs full sun, touch the spacing, the road. Oh, five to seven, five to 14 days. I can do that, Allie. I can do that. And days of maturity, 90 days. Mm -hmm. I think I can get that done too. So I've got to get these Savoy cabbages out with the quickness. With the quickness. And then um, she sent me another Sun Choi cabbage, 65 days. So I'm going to try those. Oh, thanks, Sally. Because you know my girl Q from Qstead Homestead. She's always talking about this zephyr squash. And so I always wanted to try this zephyr squash. And Allie sent me some zephyr squash seeds. Good job, Allie. I'm definitely going to grow these for sure um, for next season. And then this is a round lemon cucumber. You guys have all, all know what the lemon cucumber is. And then I have this uh, Carisio Savoy. I think that's how you say it. And this is for 90 days. That's beautiful. Oh, you know what? It's always rude when you don't read the card first before you start getting into the goodies. So, Allie, I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't see the card, girl. I got so hypnotized by the seeds you sent me. I didn't see this card. Look at it. She sent me a card, and it's so beautiful. Looks like it's a Shasta Daisy. It's got some yarrow on there. And it says, hope you enjoy a few seeds, Miss Renee. Happy sewing, Allie. Aw, thanks, Allie. I'm going to put this up on my um, in my studio wall that when I'm making my videos in there, I will always see this, Sally, and I will always think of you, girl. Beautiful, beautiful. And she sent me this one, a chocha. Ali, I don't know what this seed is. So I'm going to look this up, and I'm going to see what a chocha is. So I can, I'm going to write it on the package once I um, Google it. And see what it is. You know what? I got another phone. Let's Google this bad boy. And let's see what a chocha is. Let's see what it is, Allie. This is A-C-O-C-H-A. -A. So let's see. Let's see what it is, Allie. I'm a looking. Oh, it's a courgette, a cute little cousin. So it says, ridiculously easy to grow. These pretty green plants come into their own with fried, sauteed. And this is what they're supposed to look like. Let's see if I can get a picture. Well, I don't have that account, so we won't be able to see that one. Let's see what it looks like on this one. I'm looking, you guys. I'm looking. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. That looks like a bean plant. Look, can you guys see that? That's what it says it looks like. Hey. You know, I'm never going to say no to a new plant because, you know, your girl is all about that. So, thanks, Allie. I'm going to do some more research, and then I am going to um, see when I'm supposed to plant this, and we are going to get the mission done. So, that is my mail call for today, you guys. I'm so, so excited because Allie done hooked me up with some seeds, seeds, and seeds. And I'm definitely going to be dropping these Savoy cabbages for sure. Thanks, Allie. Now, don't forget, go on over there and check out my girl Allie at my Rusty Garden. And don't forget, 
Taylor Renee sent you. And you'll be happy that you went over there and went to visit Allie because, like I said, she is always up to something. Her and her husband are like, say, tag team things. Um, if she needs anything that needs to be built, and don't um, sleep on Allie. If something needs to be built, the girl will get her tools out and she'll build it herself. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope the tips that I shared with you about how you get to keep yourself organized on getting your chores and stuff done in the garden helps you out as well because I cannot wait to see what you guys say about what keeps you organized in your garden because I'm willing to try some of those tips, you guys. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day, and don't forget, to give your girl a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed to it. Because I would love you, love you to have you join me over here in Renee's Garden. And for my new subscribers, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so, so happy to have you. And for my returning subscribers, come on and thank you, thank you. For returning and still checking out little old me over here in Renee's Garden Adventure. Alright guys, love you. Love you, love you. Until I see you next time, you guys have a fantastic day. And this is Renee's Garden Adventure, out. Take care you guys.